Oh god. Ow. Ow. That hurt. That was not a good start. <sighs> to this fucking video. Hi! Hey guys. <laughs> How's it going? I'm actually back and I'm... I'm actually back. I have like so many excuses as to why I haven't made a video in like five, four, three, tr uh, three months. Yeah, so this is another edition of Ask Demps and I'm pretty dead excited to, uh, to do it. I have a good few questions. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh God, I swear, I can't, I can't even deal. All right, so the first question, we're gonna get right into it. Okay, no, that's not it. Okay, first question is from Hannah Carberry. Hi, Hannah, I've missed you. I've missed your questions. <sighs> Question. Favourite funniest childhood memory? Funniest childhood memory was probably the time when there was like this ginger guy who always used to like walk down the road and like he was like a grown adult and, and like I seen him the other day I actually got really embarrassed but I was like a bitch as a child. Yeah, like a fucking idiot and I used to like slag him all the time. And I like call them like redhead and nerd. <laughs> scream down the road. <laughs> like proper screech at the top of my lungs. Nerd! <laughs> and one day uh, I think he got like a bit of confidence and came over to me in front of my friends and screamed at me, telling me not to ever talk to him again. And then that was the sort of moment when I was kind of like, okay, when you say bad things to people, that hurts their feelings. And then I got like 10 years of karma after I'd been bullied in, in primary school. That's a, a funny childhood memory. But like my favorite childhood memory was probably like just playing on the road with my friends when it was hot out and like going on our bikes and, and like, and being great. And I was like so fit as a child because I was never in my house and I was so tanned. I was like a really tanned child in the summertime. In the wintertime I was pretty wet white. But what do you do? Orla Corbett, oh my favorite person in the world. I actually love her loads. Have I ever owned a ruler? No. Um, I, like in all honesty, I think I had like, I bought myself like a few wooden rulers uh, and me and my friends would like, Speaking of Orla, um, but um, I used to have these wooden rulers and then me and my friends would like karate chop them uh, and break them in half and then I'd lose them. And then I remember I asked you for your ruler one day in secondary school and then I just didn't like it. I just really didn't like it as a person for my whole entire life until May. Uh, and do I waste electricity? I do. I'm pretty sure all the lights downstairs are on. Uh, there's two lights on here, but that's for production quality because like you even know the light in here is pretty shit And the computer's on and the printer's on and I haven't used it in about four months um, The broadband is always on I never plug it out because uh, my brother uses it during the night time When I'm asleep so question for Ask Dems, do you remember your first day in Manor House, that was my secondary school, what do you think, what did you, what did you think and do you remember the first time you met because I don't love you. I, def I remember my first day in Manor House, I walked down with Megan Keating, uh, terrified, um, in our like, oh, super cool uniforms. They had these timetables where like you'd have to correspond, like you couldn't just say you have this class, this class, this class, this class, break, this class, this class, break, this class, this class, this class. It had to be like you have 101 so you correspond that with something down here and then you have like this thing and then you correspond there. Like I, my nerves were gone. So I remember my first day in secondary school that my nerves were shattered and I went into the wrong class. I was supposed to go to geography and I went into religion. My name didn't get called out. Too terrified to say, this isn't my class, uh, in fear of being shouted at. So I stayed in that class until someone taught me how to use my timetable. Haven't a clue the first time you met. 
I really, the only memories I have of you is like when we were in, you're my base class. Yeah. Right, more questions. Sasame, this is from six months ago. Jesus. What is the weirdest pet you can think of that you would want to have, illegal or legal? Uh, well, like I'll like mix my favorite animals, so like a dog mixed with a rabbit, mixed with a penguin, mixed with a uh, fucking slot. Oh no, 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 not a slot, they're horrible. What's that one? The otters. The otters are they're in the water and they're holding each other's hands. That's adorable. But yeah. Next question from Leslie Fitzpatrick. Why are you so jealous of my sexy self? Do you know what I'm jealous of? I'm jealous of your perfect hair. Your fucking great earring things. Right, I'm jealous of that. I'm jealous that you can throw a frisbee real good. Jealous of those few things. I wouldn't call it jealous. I'd probably call it admiration. Because I'm not really a jealous person. Everybody get up. Which is good. I'm Ruth Murphy. If you were a hooker, what would you charge for the following treatments? Blowy. <laughs> I would charge around three grand. <laughs> Lap dance. Um, maybe like 150 quid because I can't dance for beans. Right, so there are all the questions. Um, thank you very much for the questions. I enjoyed answering your questions. Yeah. I don't know when I'll be back. Maybe next Thursday. Could be. Might be. It will be. I mean. And uh, yeah, I'm going to answer them. My links are below. Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook. Comment away. Leave your questions below. Bye! Isn't he adorable? His name is Ralph. Oh.